Hello, I'm Bradley and welcome to my channel. First things first, if you're new here, please subscribe. You don't have to, of course, but why wouldn't you? There you go. <laughs> I said it straight away. So today we are talking all about short hair. So I have got longer hair. OK, so for people who would associate longer hair, what's that sort of shoulders and sort of lower? To me, my hair is just sort of brushing off now my shoulders. So it's to my shoulders and it's just starting to brush off. So I'm getting that kind of flick. Um, but it's all done up in a sort of top knot male sort of style, man sort of top knot man bun style. I, I hate that sort of phrase, but there we go. Do I miss short hair? Well, the simple answer to that is yes, I do, but I don't want to get rid of the longer hair. And you know, I think the, I've been thinking about this for a long time because I had blonde highlights put throughout my hair and I'm really, really pleased that they've grown out quite a lot now. As you can just and just see, they're about here now. So they've really grown out. I had them uh, done back in December. Um, and I always, usually now I wait six months in between, but I'm not going to be doing it anymore because since I've stopped using that in my hair, my hair has improved so, so much much. I think anybody, whether you're a man or a woman, can relate. If you're not naturally blonde, it's incredibly difficult to keep those really icy, cool, sort of blonde, shimmering, sort of silvery tones, is to speak, which is what I opted for. Looks really, really cool. But of course, when you've got longer length hair, it tends to kind of chew the hair up almost. It makes it quite rough. So from that aspect, you could say that, yes, I do miss shorter hair because with shorter hair, you can explore a little bit more easier. Then, of course, in a couple of months, you can have it cut and it's just gone and you've got that fresh sort of hair growth, that healthy hair all the time. Whereas if you remember, anything to your ear is a year's worth of hair growth. OK, so from the top of your head, anything to your ear is a year, anything to your shoulder is two. And below that, you can well imagine. And I always, I always use this analogy that if you were to wear a t-shirt for 365 days a year, okay, wash it dry every single day, it would start to look a little bit shabby, a little bit worn, a little bit sort of tired. So if you could imagine your hair, so longer length hair, of course, takes a lot more looking after. It's much more of a higher commitment because of course you can't just get ready, go and straight on out the door. It takes a lot. And I think that's why I've adopted this type of style because I can shampoo condition my hair. I can look after my hair how I want to, whether that be a leave-in sort of conditioning spray or a, uh, a scalp tonic to keep my hair as thick and full as possible. And that can just be, when I had shorter hair, I never of course had it in the back here, but I always had it slicked back over and then like those 1910s, 1920s inspired looks and then combed down dead straight at the back sleek, which I really, really like that kind of gentlemanry sort of style era. Um, slick back hair, absolutely love it. Or a real tight sort of parting and then off with a real tight and sleek sort of uh, side parting there like that, which I really, really liked, um, really love as well. And in fact, I still do. But then, of course, I just tie it up at the back here. So if you choose a style like what I've got now, you can enjoy longer styled hair and longer length hair and shorter hair looking as well as to speak. So like this, you'd never know that I've got longer hair, but of course it's at the back here. I've got fine textured hair and I have a lot of it. Now it's not to say that some days I don't wake up and I see my hair and I think to myself, God, I would really, really love to have that short flicky hair where I can just rub a little bit of gel through it, a little bit of wax, pomade, what have you, style it nicely, flick the comb for it in the front and I'm ready to go. I do think that shorter hair has almost like a more of a youthful sort of boost element about it. I don't know why that is, but I always think whenever I've got shorter hair, I do tend to look a little bit more youthful, a little bit more younger. Now, of course, I'm not, I'm only 28, so I'm not going to sit here and say about age and all those type of things, because I think that's a little bit silly to do that. But when I was at school and I was growing up, I always, always had shorter hair and I always had uh, really, really cropped, really, really tight to my hair, short hair barely even could barely style it. It was that short. Um, when it grew out, of course, I'd either flick it, have it like sort of uh, spiky or just comb it back like this as it got longer. But I would never, ever explore with having longer hair. When I started having hearing problems and I wear two hearing aids and, you know, it's been such a day today. I've actually taken them out because I wear hearing aids every single day. I start work for uh, just before six o'clock. I'm up very early. Um, it's a long day. When I'm on my own in like my sort of office area, my desk where I am right now, I love to just take my hearing aids out because it's almost like taking a pair of shoes, which you've been stood up on all day. If you've got a slightly uncomfortable sort of pair of shoes or anything like that, it's that sort of relief. So I haven't got hearing aids in. So if anybody was to come through the door, they would know straight away because straight away it's pardon, sorry, which is great because I love talking to my channel and camera through um, my computer and everything here because no one has to know, but that's just me giving it away. So shh. But anyway, yeah, 
I started to grow my hair out recently because I never liked how my hearing aids looked and I've always said I was going to do it and you know I've always always tried it but never quite got there and when I do when I do believe it or not I then cut it off so it's really great now I, I, my hair's the longest it's been um but some days I do wish to hell with it so what with hearing aids it's great to be able to cover it when i don't feel so confident and after nearly 15 years now i still have those days where i don't feel very confident with it particularly when i'm having a day because my hearing fluctuates and i have vertigo and tinnitus and one thing or another and if i'm meeting somebody new and i don't get it first time second time and sometimes third or fourth time and then i just smile and hope that I, I get through it successfully it's great to have longer hair then because of course you can style it you can style it so you don't see your hearing aids very often if i'm in a professional sort of meeting or um those sort of settings for work i wear it very very smart i wear it slicked back like this so you you see that real professional look which i really really like in everyday life as well but i do like the uh the straightener pass through my hair and i do like that sort of um straightened look with a bit of a parting so there's a little bit of texture fullness on the top here because of course fine hair sits very very flat that's another thing when you've got shorter hair you don't necessarily have to worry about that but then this is the thing that really annoys me as well my hair is fine okay but i've got quite a lot of it but then when i cut it short it's like i've got super super thin hair to the point where i tell you this when i used to work in my previous roles and that was in a bank here in the uk um i was working and i was chatting to a customer under a spotlight and you know the fancy sort of spotlights i worked in a very very large bank um ultra modern lighting uh, a beautiful place to work actually a real an old, an old style building exactly what you think um uh, a bank here in the uk would would be so it was a very stone big huge structure um shiny polished floors Base, you could absolutely run around like a whole school of children to be quite honest with you and there's me hearing problems yeah you could well imagine but it was great nevertheless it was great but anyway loads of modern lighting was installed and i remember just sort of catching a glimpse of myself in sort of like a chrome surface in the front and as i looked up to the customer i seen this spotlight just shine through my sort of short spiky hair and i thought yeah not a great look um so with wet products, if you've got fine hair, just be careful because it can make your hair almost look finer. So I wasn't losing hair. It was just it made my hair look really kind of straight down through. I lost kind of almost the density. So with short hair for me, that's what I've got to be a bit careful of if I go really, really short. Now, for me, a lot of people will probably still class my hair as short as to my shoulder. At the back, it's slightly longer. Um, and of course, it's time. If you've got longer hair, not everybody has got the time. Now, I know there's going to be probably <laughs> a lady's going to come across and watch this and probably think, what on earth is going on about with all the hair which we have? And yeah, absolutely. I hold my hat off to anybody who's got my mum has got hair near enough to her waist. Um, and sometimes I see her just coming through that. and I just think to myself, it's like a puzzle doing it every single day. So could not hack that, would not want to. My hair is long enough for me. And as I say, sometimes I'm thinking of having it cut shorter. But then again, wouldn't it be nice to have short hair one day and sort of just short hair? <laughs> if you want the longer length hair, longer length hair. Um, but life doesn't work like that. I know you can with wigs and hair pieces and things like that, of course. And that's great for women. But you don't see too many men do that, do you? Um, for me, wouldn't be want something I'd want to do anyway. I think I just wouldn't have the time, wouldn't really have the patience or necessarily the interest. I love styling hair, um, but my hair. And I like my texture, even though it's fine. Um, and I've got quite a lot of it. I like the sort of the... The smoke and mirrors and things which i do to try and make my hair look thicker and fuller anyway um but ultimately yeah some days i do wish i had shorter hair what's in my face very often is my twin brother yes i'm a twin thank you very <laughs> thank you very much um which is great so um he's got super short hair short spiky sort of flicky hair looks really really cool always kind of on point whereas me you've got to do quite a lot with fine longer hair i do like it because what i what I, opt, what I sort of opt to sort of base that on is sort of like the, you know, Keith Urban's hairstyle and uh, Brad Pitt's sort of longer length hairstyle. I'm just trying to think of somebody else with that sort of style of hair, longer, but perhaps for darker tone, because of course Brad Pitt's got lighter blonde hair, which must take so much maintenance. And it's just, no, no, not again. I tried it a little bit and it's just so much. I'm trying to think else who just off the top of my head, there is someone that I can't quite think of the name. gone out of my head um but yeah that's what i'm trying to say anyway so those type of styles and when you've got fine length hair it's it's difficult it looks great when you finished and you've styled it but it's just 
yeah, it does take a lot. Um, but yeah, but ultimately, I'm 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 enjoying having longer length hair right now. And I thought I would do this clip because I've been thinking, I've been thinking all day, would I ever want short hair again? And do you know what? The other day, I nearly had it all cut off. So um, yeah, we will see how that goes. You never know. For the summer, I may have it all cut super short, or I may continue to grow it. Who knows? Yeah. Do you know what? That name with the person with the longer... I'm just going to take a moment to think about this. With the longer... Yeah, it's something, isn't it? Oh, it's going to annoy me now, and you can guarantee when I turn this clip off, um, it's going to come... It's going to come to my mind. Anyway, cannot think of it at all, but hopefully you know anyway, because I know in my head I just cannot get across. Is it Top Gun? I think he was in there, wasn't he? Yeah. Is that how you say it? Is that the name of the film? Got a bit muddled up now anyway. But you know the type of hairstyles which I'm, which I'm kind of trying to base that on anyway. Um, so, do I miss having shorter hair? Would I have shorter hair? Yeah. Okay, thanks very much for sharing this clip with me. And until next time, I hope you can join me. My very best wishes to you. Take great care and I'll be seeing you then. Bye for now.